Alrighty. <laughs> Hello, what's up you guys? It's been a little while. I think it's almost been two weeks. I could be wrong. Um, I can actually go and check when the last time I uploaded a video was. And that is the wrong account. Um, for whatever reason, it has two separate accounts for me. Uh, video manager. The last time I uploaded a video was the 26th. So it's been a little bit under two weeks. Um, the reason being is I ended up going out of town uh, for a little bit on a kind of vacation type thing. Uh, we went to do like some racing stuff, like go to kart racing and stuff. And then I ended up getting in a car accident, which made it so we couldn't. And so like I had bruises all over my my shoulder. <laughs> it was it was kind of obnoxious and well disappointing to say the least. And then, another story for you guys, um, today when I was playing StarCraft with Luganug, I got frustrated and I slammed my keyboard against my desk, which, keep in mind, this is like ridiculously uncommon for me. Um, I hardly ever get mad during video games, but I slammed my keyboard against the desk and I broke the freaking keyboard. <laughs> so, now I don't have access to that. Anyway, so this video, I've, uh, I've actually been working on something for a little while it's this sheep farm and I actually I did a layer of it just to make sure I knew how it would work but these shear the sheep right when it becomes no longer idle it should shear that sheep yep and it puts into the chest here and then obviously it gets pulled out of the chest um, options music I mean, turn off hostile mobs friendly mobs there we go alright so so I'll use all these barrels to put on um, the different colors of sheep overall there are 16 different colors and there are also 16 different um, thingies that I want <laughs> I need to check if this is jammed really fast there are 16 different colors of, uh, of wool. So I should have a pretty nice wool farm at the end of this. Um, so let's jump up here. Uh, oh, one more. There we go. And I'll, I'll close this off here. And Actually, I can just do that now. But this is what it will look like in the end here. It'll just be like that. So pretty straightforward. So I have a similar setup upstairs, except I haven't placed anything yet. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so first things first, we need to put the ranchers. The ranchers are actually go on the opposite side. Now these go, these will work in a 5x5 five five area, and that's why this is a 5x5. Five five. Um, so we'll pop one down right there. Right there, and one goes right here, one goes right here, one more goes right here, and one goes right over here, and we should be set. There we go. So then we have to feed up power, which I will do from the bottom. Power, and then I'll mine out in a 3x3. Three three. So that was 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then. Perfect. Alright, is this the. What? corner has one of the corners is like perfect in the sense that I can it, it goes all the way down so I need to figure out what corner that is really fast such so a satisfying pop oh, I guess I it doesn't go up I don't think at all yeah I'll have to dig it up a little bit
There we go. Alright. So then what I'll do is I'll run wire. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll actually run wire straight down. I won't run it through the back. So I probably don't need to take... Yeah, I probably don't actually need to do it this way. So let's go ahead... Friggin' slimes. I wish I could make it so slimes can't spawn in this area, but... I can't right now. I bet there's an item that'll do it. So what I'll do instead is I'll actually just send it straight down. If I can. There we go. Or I'll just send it straight down from the back. One, two, three, there we go. So it'll go like so. And then right at the edge, which is right here. I'll dig straight down. There we go, perfect. I got it right at the junction point. And then I will rinse and repeat. And then that should be it. I'll end up dyeing them all the, the proper color, but it should work out pretty well here. It doesn't look too bad either. I guess I can remove all these fences though, and uh, that'll be nice at least. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and add this here as well. There we go. So I'll uh, I'll do that on my own time here, and uh, and then we'll add colors, and I'll I'll use the safari nets to move them. That's something Luganuk showed me to do. And then up here, I'm working. I'm going to do a tree farm. So so that should be interesting. Anyway, uh. Freaking all these slimes, man! I'm gonna figure out how to make it so they can't spawn because they're obnoxious. But I'll do like I'll I'll probably do a wheat farm. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. Anyway, so that's how you make a uh, a sheep farm, and the rancher should work with um or that's yeah that's how it works. Uh, you can give it shears, I believe. I can't remember, or you can give a harvester shears. But anyway, that's how you make a sheep farm rancher you can also use a feeder nope uh, mine factory factory there's a breeder you can use a breeder um, to breed them but I don't want to breed them anyway thank you all so much for watching have an amazing day and I'll see you all next time